Hey guys, um, this is Kevin. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about my um, 3070 Ti from Gigabyte again. You know the previous video that I had regarding on this graphics card? Um, you know how this light wasn't lighting up? So I actually had a subscriber um, named Constantine, I, I believe. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name properly, but he actually reached out to me and gave me a solution. So I want to uh, walk um, step by step with you guys and figure this out. Because now when I turn it on, that comes on. Uh, it might take a little bit of time for my graphics card to actually light up too. Okay, actually it did take a little bit of time. Um, once the Aureus engine started up on my computer, um, the Gigabyte did actually Gigabyte logo actually did turn on. So now let's see. What I can do is I can even change the color now. Um, obviously I'm not gonna keep it like this. I'm just gonna keep it as white, um, just like how I like. I'm going to have it as sync for the motherboard and also GPU. So I'll just go over the steps and well everything will be recorded on the computer. And I would like to show you guys the step by step that Constantine actually helped me out with. And hopefully you guys will be able to use that step by step guide for your gigabyte um, graphics card as well if you have this RGB light problem. Okay, so now we're on the computer por portion. Um, what I have done is I actually deleted my Aureus um, engine and also the RGB Fusion. Um, I did that permanently by, um, by actually downloading a thing called Revo un Uninstaller. Um, you can get this for free. That is what I did. Um, through that, you can actually delete everything that you want. Um, obviously, I'll, sh I'll just show you guys on this part. Um, there will be like uh, the Aureus engine would be here. And then you can just click and then uninst uninstall. And then you can delete it that way. And then nothing gets uh, left behind on your computer. So now what we're going to be doing is just going into your browser. Obviously for me, I use Brave, so that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, you want to go into the Gigabyte website, and then for me, because I have the NVIDIA series, um, I'm just going to filter it out. The RTX 30 series with um, just the 3070 Ti left here. There are five different models here. Obviously, what I have is the 3070 Ti Gaming OC um, 8G. So I'm going to go in there. And then from there, you're going to go into the support. Um, because I decided to delete everything, like I, everything meaning just Aureus Engine and the firmware part, what we're going to be doing is download the um, Aureus Engine portion. And then when you go into the firmware, you want to download the F1.2. Uh, that's the most current one out anyways so i'm just waiting a little bit for these two to um, be done downloading now we're going to open up the aureus engine just go through this part let's make a shortcut yep And then while we're waiting, I'm just going to open this and then extract it out. So we'll have another one going. Save a little bit of time that way. Okay, now this portion is almost done. What we're going to be doing is just launching the Aureus engine. Uh, literally, this part is all done. You don't have to really worry about that portion. Um, I know that the RGB Fusion is not the best, but in my opinion, it is something that you need in order to control the light. 
Um, if you don't want it, then don't have it. For me, I'm going to have it because in case I want to change my lighting from just straight white to like strobe uh, light or something like that later on, probably not going to happen, but I just want an option for it. As you can see, I have the RGB Fusion here, Oreos engine. Um, now it's actually showing up. But if you check and the LED portion doesn't come up for the GPU, what you're going to be doing is going into this. Um, this is the one that I did extract. You're going to go into switch install. More info, run away, run anyway, sorry. Yes. Then this sometime comes up, sometime it just shuts off by itself. Um, and then get into the HT52342. Um, really, you can pick this one too, but if um, depends on your GPU. If you click this one and try to do the FW upgrade, it's going to say it doesn't match. So for my case, it's this one. So um, for my computer, because this is the second time I'm doing it, just to show you guys how this will get done. Um, once you open this FW upgrade, it's going to start uh, updating. And when it's 100%, it will literally say um, computer, uh, restart your computer to have all the settings. Sometimes it doesn't show. Uh, if it doesn't show, then just X, every, X out of everything and and then um, restart, uh, like turn off your computer for at least a minute or two and then start your computer. And once you start your computer, the lights aren't going to be on right away. The reason why is you will have to go into the Aureus engine. And once you're in the Aureus engine um, page, what you're going to be doing is going into the LED control. And from the LED control, what you're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to now you're going to just pick the GPU. And then from there, because I want white, I'm just going to change it to white. It takes a lip. It, take, it takes about a second or two for it to show on your um, computer. So just keep checking. And then this one, I want it all white as well. And apply it and then after you apply just check back make sure you did apply and then what you're going to be doing is just closing out and then what I like to do is I just press apply um, and literally at this point your computer sh your GPU should have the RGB light back uh, I hope you guys like this video if you guys did like this video uh, give a like and also subscribe to this channel um, it will help a lot and also comment if this if this um, method helped you out and huge thanks to Constantine for um, actually messaging me to give me the direction of this entire um, thing obviously for the uh, if you have other 3270 yeah, the process is a little bit different I believe some of them you actually have to uh, um, what he told me is that if you have the for his case he has the RTX 3070 Ti master um, the fix is a little bit crazy um, it's definitely different than the 3070 Ti um, what he told me is that all the step that we did so far um, but in case the FW upgrade fails uh, you will just have to follow the picture. I will insert the picture here. Um, you will have to use the firmware from another card. Um, so in case you try to install the FW um, upgrade and it, it and it fails, it will ask for a file, and the file is called GV. I N T E L L two C dot D L L. I'll put that in the screen. Um, the fix is to copy this file into the T H sorry H T 
T52342 and HT52352 and then run FW upgrade. Um, he just wanted me to share this portion in case some uh, some of you guys have the RTX 3070 Ti Master. Um, as some of, a lot, I know a lot of people have this problem. Um, there aren't really solutions out um, on well, on internet, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video to help solve the problems that people have been having with the 3070 and 3070 Ti. Probably all gigabyte. GPU to be honest and his advice is to stay away from the RGB fusion um, the software is Pretty bad in general, but it can also screw up with a lot of the components um, for this part. I haven't really Had a problem with it other than just erasing the uh, RGB function so as I mentioned um, I did delete the RGB fusion and then all of a sudden my after I shut my computer off and then restarted uh, my lights for the G my GPU wouldn't come on again so I had to do all this step again um, just to have the light back so my um, my in my opinion I would say just keep the RGB fusion um, I'm sure there's going to be a update coming up sooner or later as a lot of people do use the RGB fusion um, software um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.